Over 10 billion Naira loans and grants have been approved from various groups and organizations for pharmaceutical and healthcare-related research under the COVID-19 intervention scheme, the Central Bank of Nigeria has said. The spokesperson for the bank, Isaac Okurafo, who confirms this in Abuja on Sunday, said several other applications were also being processed pending approval. Okurafo said the applications covered the two broad categories under the COVID-19 intervention programs in the healthcare sector. He identified the two categories as the loan program and grants and all loans for pharmaceutical and healthcare-related researchers on COVID-19. Joining us live is Dayo Lomuwagu, Public Affairs Analyst. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Two weeks ago, the CBN announced these loans aimed at helping the efforts to find local cure for COVID-19. And then this time, over 10 billion naira loan has been approved for pharmaceutical and healthcare related research. Should we say we are taking issues of COVID-19 seriously by the day, as opposed to where we were, say, about two months ago? Uh, so I, I think, uh, I, I think uh, the, we, need to, we need to take it more serious than where we were two months ago, uh, because we have seen a, a, a surge in, uh, in the cases of number of people who have tested positive, uh, subject to how many people have been have been tested, uh, I mean, how many tests have been conducted. Uh, so definitely, whether in Nigeria or any other part of the world, it, it seems the, the cases of uh, the coronavirus pandemic is still on the rise. Uh, especially the climate has not subsided. Um, so the, the government coming at this time for such intervention, uh, maybe it can pretty be justified, uh, seeing that, uh, yes, uh, we've got to ensure that the people, the, 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 the health security of the people is guaranteed. Uh, and uh, also, the economy is not its best shape. Uh, there's recession. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, already, it's already affecting the economy. And uh, we expect some, some challenging days ahead. So, so, this intervention that the government is doing, I think um, uh, they are still in, in the right direction. Two weeks ago, some rights groups questioned the distribution of palliatives by the federal government, arguing that those in need of them have been either completely ignored or sidelined. How do we now track these new funds injected to all of these interventions? Uh, unfortunately, uh, this kind of fund is a, uh, a type of fund that's usually difficult to track, especially when it has to do with... Uh, uh, research, medical research development is usually generally hard, difficult to, to track. Uh, but having said that, uh, because we know how the issue on palliatives and all that, I mean, went, uh, clearly the CBM must, uh, yeah, if they have good intention, very good, they have good intention, but they, they, they must tell that to Nigerian, they must show that to Nigerian, there must be a, a, a framework, I mean, the framework for distribution, for the granting of this a grant and loan, and a, a, a long term loan, should be clear. Now, it should be clear to every player, we, people should know what the process looks like, people should know what the requirements are, and such that everybody that meets the requirements somehow, they, they can be assured that, I mean, 50-50, they will possibly get this loan. And if they are not getting it, they should know the specific reason to why they are not getting it. Uh, so what I'm just saying is uh, there should be a clear framework. There should be a clear processes and procedure. There should be clear requirement, clear to everybody. Uh, uh, so just that anybody who, who thinks they qualify for this can actually ap apply and uh, and uh, and draw down on this, on this loan. So, so it, it should not be sued in secrecy at all such that we not go back to what the same complaint. I mean, it's man no man, and you got to... And at the end of the day, you cannot account for such loans. Okay, so we know that as parts, including the World Health Organization, has said the COVID-19 will stay a bit longer um, with us. Should we not be considering options that will work for the long run and not temporary solutions? Uh, uh, so uh, unfortunate. Uh, so I, I think uh, if you talk about the long term and the short term solution. So so for for this purpose, the CBN is is uh, is uh, is addressing. For for example, I think this will mean both the short term and the long term. Uh, because once you get vaccine, once you get drugs that can actually uh, address 
the, the COVID-19 pandemic with the, the, the virus, uh, people can access it. I mean, maybe at some point, people can access it uh, in their pharmacies. It can be used in, in hospital. Uh, clearly, it will bring down the challenges we're facing now. I mean, it, it will drastically reduce it. So whether in the short run and in the long run, I think uh, if we we'll get a vaccine, it will help. Not requires we we'll go to other country and get vaccines from them. Uh, although, I mean, uh, although the whole world is still battling with this, or uh, maybe go go to Madagascar and other places where they say they have something that can cure coronavirus. But, but, but again, for me, that may not be sustainable. Uh, so we've got to get something, especially if we have been assured that COVID-19 is going to stay for us for a, 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 a short while, a long time. I mean, we, we've, got to, we've got to have something. So for me, this is the... Uh, it's both the, the, the short and maybe the medium and long-term plan of the CBN. But uh, uh, the emphasis now should be, is it we, are, we are entering a recession and resources are very scarce. We've got to uh, use our resources judiciously. I mean, it's not a time where you waste. So we hear 100 billion has uh, 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 been set apart. Then there's another 10 billion window again. And you hear all kinds of billion all around. Now, if this is not if this is not making impact on the economy, if the lives of people ultimately are not being better by all these grants and loans and this thing we hear here and there, uh, then it is not worth it then it will be worse than even the the, 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 the situation we have before the corona period. So clearly, the emphasis of government should be, like you mentioned, uh, how does this impact on the economy? How does it impact on the country? How does it save the life of people and impact on the country? And how is sustainable is it such that even after the pandemic, this will address the pandemic, and at some point, Nigeria will get back to its feet and it's going to be prosperity for all. All right, before I let you go, um, does all of this really, the monies that are being brought, the things that we're hearing um, on seeing on the news, um, encourage confidence that our government is doubling its efforts as regards containment of this pandemic? Yes, yeah, so for the containment of this pandemic, I, I think, uh, yes, so much effort is being made by the government, and we should appreciate that. But again, as you hear some news, it's, it looks like we're, we're thinking so, so, some leap forward. Then you see that we're thinking in some leap, many leaps backward again. And uh, uh, especially in some area, maybe not necessarily in the health space, for example, in education, where uh, we, we, I mean, the government seemed not to be able to meet a palliative to, to support people while they were locked down at home. Now you see, since you're assisting, you want to go and feed children that are inside their houses or under their parents. And the question is, how do you assess them and all that? So at some point, we have figures being read out, and we're asking, when did this happen and when that happened? So well, for me, the ch it's challenging because at, at some point, you see some policy of government, and you think, oh, we are getting it. We are almost, we are almost there. And then you hear some other policy, and you're scared. Where is all of this? Where is this coming from? Uh, how accountable, how, how sustainable are this? Uh, and so I think it's a holistic thing. The government should, as they are bringing these policies, we should also look in what is the challenge of Nigeria is a, a lot more and so we should uh, why we, we do it in short time we should also look at a comprehensive way we should look at all sectors where at some point we can address the the, 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 the challenging situation uh and the nigerians can be better for it thank you very much for your thoughts on the news i'm grateful it's my pleasure being with you